Okay, Christiana, welcome to 42 Questions. Let's begin. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Hey, how did you start your day today? Thinking. Yeah. How do you stay motivated? I don't need to do anything special for it. Okay. It's from inside. It's just there. Okay. Who was the last person you wrote an email to? Uhuru. It's someone in the administration organizing a trip to Imperial College. Uh -huh. Aha! Sounds exciting. Uh, Christiane, I've heard you have a parrot. Since when do you have the parrot and what's its name? Oh, 15 years. Uh, she's called Iara. It's a, a Brazilian parrot mm -hmm. from the Amazonas region. Mm -hmm. It's this blue head Amazonas. Uh -huh. And she has the name Iara because it's the, from a legend from the Amazonas region. It's the queen of water. Which was the last conference you delivered a lecture at? In China, last year, end of the year, okay. in Shanghai. Describe your version of relaxed weekend. Sleeping until very late, uh, then having a very nice breakfast, very long, going for a walk with my husband, getting some flowers from the flower shop, the flower market, getting some nice fresh food from the market and then getting some friends over for dinner. Um, the country you last visited? Uh, Italy, I think, for a vacation. Okay. Country you wish to visit? New Zealand. Okay. It sounds so exotic. Isn't yeah, it? just the name is exotic already. New Zealand. Yes. <gasps> That's true. <laughs> Uh, if you were to have dinner with three people, dead or alive, who would they be? I think Chico Buarque de Holanda. This is a Brazilian composer. It's a genius. Uh, Madonna. Mm -hmm. And Angela Merkel. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, what is your guilty pleasure? Playing computer games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what is the best advice you received? I think it's from my grandma. And she would say nothing better than one day after another and one night in the middle for us to sleep. That's very deep and simple. <laughs> yeah, she's a wise lady. She survived quite long. Now she's 101. Wow. In a few days, she's turning 101. It's because she had wisdom. She knew how to live. What advice would you give your 21-year-old self? Find your passion. Okay. And follow it. Whatever it takes. Okay. What is something you can't do, but would really want to learn? Cooking like a chef. <laughs> okay. At what age did you know that you wanted to be a professor? Uh, I think, well, since I was born, I was playing the teacher. Mm -hmm. That was my preferred game mm -hmm. as a child. Okay. But I decided to be a physicist when I was 13. <laughs> okay, Christiana, let's move on to some lab-related questions. Um, what is the next scientific paper that you are excited to read? Oh, I just have it here. Graphene is a surprise superconductor. Just appeared this week. Uh -huh. I will read it during this weekend. Uh -huh. Twisted bilayer graphene that becomes superconducting. Sounds very exciting. Very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your top three journals, scientific journals of choice. Uh, well, of course, we will like to read papers in science or nature mm -hmm. because they are so general and they are put up for a broad public and you have to write or read uh, something which is beyond your own field of research. But what I really like Physical Review B. As a theoretician, this is a place where we can really publish papers which are thorough, there is no limit of length. Mm -hmm. We can use all the words that are necessary to really explain it from the bottom to the top. 
and I love them also. That's where you can really learn techniques and calculations that are extremely useful. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is a quality that a student must have uh, when the student is interested in joining your lab? Fascination. One has to love physics and be devoted to it. Okay. Uh, what quality is an absolute must for a collaboration to flourish? Trust. Okay. What advice would you give to scientists around the globe? Yeah, let's go back to contents, do less administration, get rid of aging disease and all this numerology that science is becoming. Okay. What is the one thing you would like to change about research today? One thing. I would like to get to the administration, the politicians trusting us more, mm -hmm. to let us follow our own intuition without need to justify everything. Okay. Sometimes there is no justification. No, we should follow. Our intuition is what we have the best to offer. Mm -hmm. And we should be trusted on that. Okay. And we should get the opportunity to follow crazy ideas yeah. that one cannot always write well-justified proposals to mm -hmm. get money for. There should be means for that. Mm -hmm. that that's, that's true. <laughs> What is a must-have in your lab? Um, well, well in, in technical terms, one should know how to use tools of quantum field theory. Mm -hmm. That's very useful for the kind of things we are doing. Or to do numerical work. Okay. One of the two. Okay. What, is your, um, what are your thoughts about open access journals? It's very important. I mean, the world has the right to what has been discovered and everybody should be able to read it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being we are there, where do you think gender equality is in science? 3. Okay. There is a long way to go. <laughs> okay. Okay, Christiana, let's move on to some simple questions now. What would your superpower be? Reading the mind of others. Yeah. What would your tagline be? Um, the Brazilian physicist? Female. The female Brazilian physicist. Uh -huh. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Project meeting or proposal writing? Project meeting. Okay. What is your spirit animal? Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if you had 42 hours instead of 24 in a day? The same. Just <laughs> sleep. <laughs> just slowly and getting more space to breathe in between. Okay. What is a must do when uh, someone is visiting Netherlands for the first time? I think it should be in April to come to see the tulip fields. Uh -huh. This is one of the biggest buildings in, in Earth. It's really spectacular. Okay. And what is a must to in Brazil? Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most beautiful town in Earth. Oh. It's really fantastic. Okay. One should go there. Okay. And I'm not from there, so... <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, which do you think is a dying hobby and should definitely come back? Going to the cinema, we are not going enough to cinemas anymore. We have computers or television Netflix. to watch. Uh -huh. Yeah, going to the cinema with all this crowd, with this big screen, loud sound and popcorn. Uh, that sounds amazing. Uh, what is your favorite code? Um, I think Montaigne. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in French, it says Il vaut mieux une tête bien faite qu'une tête bien pleine. Mm -hmm. And it means it's better to have a well-formed mind than a, f a filled one. That is fantastic. If I translated it properly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Backpacking or spa? Oh, 
for young ones, backpacking for <laughs> old ones like me, spa. <laughs> Ocean or mountains? I love both, but maybe in mountains if I should pick up one. Okay. If you were to pack one snack for the pic for a picnic, what would it be? One snack, it can be chocolate. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of it. Okay. Please describe your last meal. Uh, it was very frugal and modest. It was very fast also. My lunch today, we have a week uh, without meat at the canteen, only vegetarian food. Mm -hmm. And I had a salad, very nice salad. Very healthy. With the fruits, uh, mixed the juice of fruits. Oh, that sounds yum. Okay. Uh, window or aisle seat? Window. I'm claustrophobic. Oh, okay. <laughs> Early morning or late evening? Late evening. Okay. Why no beer? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, what would your autobiography title be? She made it. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, Christiana. We are at the 42nd question now. And what would you like the 43rd question to be? love or career <laughs> thank you <laughs> subscribe to the science talk to get your dose of science today <laughs>